Hello everyone and welcome to today's class. Today we will be learning how to do a crow pose. So for today's class you will need two blocks or anything that can be used as blocks. Maybe either books or whatever you have around the house. Okay, so now coming on all fours, first we are going to warm up the wrists. Spread your fingers out nice and wide, place them on the mat, and just find some big circles going in one direction. So we will do 10 seconds going one direction and 10 seconds going the opposite direction. Right, now moving on to our next exercise now we're gonna do what I call wrist push-ups so you're going to lift high up onto the pads of the fingers lifting the palm and knuckles up off the ground it should give you a nice engagement as well as a stretch within your fingers and it really really helps to straighten the wrists as well so this is great for any inversion practice downward dog handstands headstands you definitely want to make sure those wrists are nice and warmed up so let's go ahead and do this 10 times, pausing after each lift. And when you're done, sit back on your heels and just go ahead and shake it out. Shake it as hard as you can. Get out any tension that may be there. Interlace all 10 fingers and let's circle the hand 10 times in one direction and then flip that direction, circling the hands the opposite way. I'm going in a figure eight motion. And shake out the hands again. So now for our last warm up, go ahead and clench the fists and release. Clench, release, clench, release. Go a little bit faster, making sure that you're clenching and releasing all the way. Go a little faster, a little bit faster, and then go as fast as you go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Good job, shake it out. Those wrists and forearms should be nice and warmed up now. So let's go ahead and get to our practice. Grab those blocks or books and you can either step on two if you are either have really long arms or are new to crow or one block may be enough for you. Go ahead and judge it based off of your body proportions. Take your knees up really high into almost the creases of your armpits. I like to take the knees as high as they can go so that you could be lifting the chin up which is very important. You wanna make sure you're leaning forward and we lift our feet on the exhale. Just a little reminder for you guys. So we're gonna start off by doing just some quick toe taps, lifting one leg and then the other, pulling that heel to glute. Just alternating sides, remembering chin up, lean forward, exhaling as you lift each foot. So exhale and exhale and release all right so now for our second time you go ahead and stretch out your wrists in between each set for this second set we're gonna go up a little bit in our intensity you can always keep with the first set if that's where you're comfortable so for the second set you're gonna lift one leg and then try to briefly lift the other leg up as well so exhale and at the bottom of the exhale, you just lift the second foot up off the ground. So exhale, exhale. Yep, so you're kind of dragging out the inhales and exhales here, making sure that we elongate those breaths. And you could just alternate with the feet. So maybe you're lifting the right foot first and then briefly lifting the left and then go to the other side, lifting the left foot and briefly lifting the right. So go from side to side several times, I would say maybe like three times for each foot, six times total. Go ahead and stretch out the wrists if you need to, and let's prepare for our third set. Once again, taking those knees nice and high, turning forward, and let's see if we can exhale, lift both feet at the same time. Okay. So here, maybe you even wanna ditch the block if you feel like you don't need it anymore. The block kinda just helps to get our momentum going 
forward. So you may not even need it to begin with. It's all dependent on you and your practice. Remember, it's inhale and exhale lift. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. That is it for our crow practice. Keep practicing. And remember, it's all about consistency and persistency. So I will see you guys next time. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.